I'm Dr. David Hasse. You may know me as the Curious Physician, uh, and I am interested in you having more good days. So let's dig into the topic of hope for autoimmune disease. Now, hope stands for Habitat Optimizing Plasma Exchange. And therapeutic plasma exchange has been known for years and years to be very effective in the treatment of autoimmune disease. As a matter of fact, it very much is the standard of care for severe progressive autoimmune diseases of many different types. And it's profound in its capacity to uh, interrupt this cycle of the body attacking itself. So let's talk a little bit about what is autoimmune disease. So autoimmune uh, means that the body is mistaking itself for an enemy. And instead of the immune system ignoring self, it starts to attack self. And depending on what organ is being affected, this autoimmune process gets named many different things. It can be you know, Hashimoto's thyroiditis or it can be um, Crohn's disease, or it can be rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome. Uh, there's so many uh, autoimmune diseases, but they all are working under a fundamental premise that the body's immune system has gotten mixed up and is attacking self rather than supporting self. Now, um, there's many of these conditions uh, have a lot to do with antibodies. Antibodies are small molecules that attach on to a certain other molecule, very specific in shape, and that identifies whatever the antibody has been attached to as needing to be destroyed or removed. For instance, when we uh, get a um, when we get an infection, our body raises up antibodies against that organism so that the next time that organism comes into our body, uh, we can rev up our defense mechanisms effectively, uh, identify that organism, and mark it for removal. When the body starts making a lot of antibodies against its own tissue, that those tissues are marked for removal. And so if we think of... Um, and those antibodies can cause not just the damage to the tissue, but it, if the antibody is against a receptor, it can block the function of that receptor in the ability for the body to function. Now, uh, if we think about uh, plasma exchange, plasma exchange is the process by which um, blood is removed from the body. The plasma, the liquid part of the blood, is separated from the cells in the blood. That liquid part of the blood that holds all of the antibodies that are attacking the body is then disposed of. And instead, a clean replacement plasma fluid is added to the cells and that comes back in the body via the other arm. Now, our process called habitat optimizing plasma exchange varies because we're very interested in not just what gets taken out of the body, but what goes into the body. And we've developed tools and processes to decrease the side effect profiles that can occur with standard therapeutic plasma exchange. Now, um, I have to say that autoimmune disease is one of the most rewarding things to treat with our HOPE process because literally some patients can get better sitting in the chair. For instance, we had one woman with something called stiff man syndrome. And, and this is where she has an antibody against certain neurologic receptors in her body. And as she is in the chair having her plasma removed, she starts to move more fluidly and start being able to function. Um, we see this also with the condition called myasthenia gravis, where an individual will start to become stronger, even sitting in the chair, because those antibodies can be so toxic against the body. So, but most other autoimmune diseases are much more deep-seated, and, and they take longer to be uh, treated, requiring several uh, episodes or several treatments of therapeutic plasma exchange. 
And that is a uh, really uh, remarkable thing because when multiple treatments are completed in rapid succession with each other, what happens, you clean the fluid that is inside the bloodstream. And now that clean bloodstream, that clean plasma goes out into the fluid that's around the cells. And the dirty or polluted fluid filled with autoantibodies comes back into the bloodstream. A second plasma exchange is done uh, and those antibodies are now removed. So with every subsequent plasma exchange, the fluid that's around the cells starts to become cleaner and cleaner and the autoimmune reaction can start calming down. And what's useful here is that the body is always kind of regulating itself. So when we give the body a break, when we can remove some of these really noxious substances, then the, bounty, the body's counter-regulatory processes, the, you know, the, the side of your body that's saying, no immune system, that's me, don't attack me. <laughs> you know, that actually gets a boost. We call that, for instance, like your T suppressor cells can be augmented in their function, causing a natural longer term support for the calming of the autoimmune response. So uh, plasma exchange does not just remove antibodies, but it also changes the behavior of the immune system. So there's many conditions such as, um, that, for instance, another one of our patients, a physician uh, that came to us, we have a lot of physicians as patients, um, with scleroderma. Scleroderma is a terrible autoimmune disease. As a matter of fact, uh, average life expectancy after diagnosis with scleroderma, seven years. It's one of the most aggressive forms of autoimmune disease. And he had developed ulcers on the tips of his fingers. He had to pull out of surgery. Uh, and he, he was also having his lungs become sclerosed. And he was losing pulmonary function. And by applying hope, um, by not just thinking about what we take out of the body with repeated plasma exchanges, but also what else do we need to put into the body, other things that need to be treated simultaneously. I'm really happy to say he's had a complete remission from scleroderma. Um, really quite remarkable. All of his fingers, tips have healed. His pulmonary function is now back to near normal. Um, and he is you know, enjoying life with his kids and his wife. Um, now being very successful and making a difference in the world. Um, that's incredibly rewarding, but you need this interrupt switch oftentimes when you have a severe autoimmune disease. And plasma exchange is often not thought of as soon as it needs to be thought of. Because, you know, there's, there's a bias, right? If, if you don't do a particular therapy or if it's not really... Um, commonplace, and unfortunately not too many physicians in the United States are trained, uh, as, as we are here, to deliver plasma exchange, um, it's not thought of necessarily as a therapy. And the great news is there's, a, there's also a whole bunch of new medications out to treat various autoimmune diseases, and those often can be used very effectively in conjunction with plasma exchange. So if the therapy is not completely successful, often using these two therapies together can put, put somebody over the hump to where the therapy is functioning more effectively. So, um, uh, you know, and we just had a patient <laughs> this last week. I came to check in on him and I asked, well, how are you doing? And he said, yesterday was the best day of my life. <laughs> and I was like, what? wow, what was that? And and turns out, you know, he has a lot of hyperviscosity due to his immune system being really overactivated. And with plasma exchange, um, his blood supply and his blood flow is working better. We, I believe we're seeing a lot more of this since COVID has happened. And um, his energy level went up and his experience of life improved, uh, his cognition improved. Um, now that's unusual, right? We don't expect a lot of people to get better sitting in the chair. Um, because this is a very deep, very powerful therapy that is healing at the cellular level. 
And, and it takes a little bit of time for those cells to do the job of healing and recovering and for the immune system to change its behavior. And, um, but when that healing happens deeply, um, it happens profoundly. So when we're looking at um, therapeutic plasma exchange, there are several different side effects that can happen. Uh, low blood pressure, low calcium, uh, uh, blood clots, bleeding. Um, there are several different concerns. And, and our process that we call uh, habitat optimizing plasma exchange is doing everything possible to decrease those potential side effects. Um, we're very proud. Of it. It's been a long time since we have anybody that's had a low calcium event or a low blood pressure event. Um, and, and because of how we access and how we use IVs, the likelihood for blood clots and infections are incredibly low. Um, so we've done everything that we can to over-determine safety. Um, and we're at all of our um, care is done with one-on-one -on -one nursing. Uh, we're trying very hard not to cut corners and to do everything right. Um, and it's been incredibly gratifying to see the care of autoimmune disease that hasn't gotten to get better via other mechanisms respond really powerfully to this process that we've developed. So. If you have uh, any need, if you, there's somebody else you know that is suffering from an autoimmune disease that isn't seeming to get better despite addressing all the things uh, and good care, um, I think that hope is really a very important consideration. I encourage you to call in, have a consultation, and learn more about this therapy if it applies to you or those you love. Um, I wish you well.